Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 4th, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, Crane forces have attacked the bear soldiers along five sections of the front line in Donbass during their large scale offensive. Now the Bear Defense Ministry said in the early hours of Monday. All right guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up, share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones, I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that wanna to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also guys, $1 a month Patreon, we get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also guys, I posted videos today, those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that wanna send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's see what's going on in this one here, guys. This is some serious stuff. There's a lot of videos circulating right now on Twitter. I just finished watching, a, it's, I think it was a 15-minute video. It was very disturbing. It's not meant for young ones. But uh, there are troops on the ground. Uh, I've seen some that is missing. Um, certain body parts uh one was missing a jaw uh it, it, it just is so brutal these biblical wars uh you have uh medic soldiers out there but this thing is getting really really ugly guys so um both uh both sides are going at it and it seems like it has begun uh if this thing is taking place right now i do believe that uh, there's a possibility uh the counter offensive have have begun now we we talked about this last week that uh there was a date june 12th through the 24th around that time frame that uh, we're gonna see something big and it seems like it's happening much earlier all right so it says according to the mod the assault began on sunday morning the enemy's goal was a uh to breach our defensive in what they assume was the most vulnerable section of the front line the ministry said in a statement now the enemy has failed to reach its goals and was unsuccessful the ministry stated now guys i do have the video here uh, i'm not gonna play it give me a second Um. Yeah, this is the one right here. But like I said, I can't play it. This is a very, very, very disturbing. I'm going to share it on my Twitter account. But I must remind everyone, if you watch the video, again, make sure they won't... I mean, there's no young ones around. This is some very disturbing stuff here. Um... I just got to zoom it in so you guys have a bit of view. So here, uh, so here you go. So it says here, K I L L me, don't torture me. Uh, just basically, you know, take me out. That's coming out from a crane soldier. Begs it begs the medic to take him out. Um, so the biblical war is hell. When will this senseless event stop? Now, guys, like I said, uh, I can't show in this platform. Uh, this is a 11 minute video. Uh, I will share it. But it's 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 very brutal. Uh, okay, this part right here, you see what this person is saying? Needs a trigger warning in the caption. Young ones don't need to see these type of stuff. Now, again, guys, I don't know how to put out the warnings. If I share it, I don't know how to put out the warnings. But uh, I'm just going to write it. Uh, when I uh, retreat it, I'm just going to write it, let people know that this is a... You know, one of those videos that is very disturbing is not meant for young ones. So this is the video right here. And there's some stuff going on between uh, the bear soldiers and crane soldiers. And it seems like crane soldiers are getting impacted really hard. I don't like to see those type of stuff. Again, uh, I don't. I'm not rooting for no one here. Uh, I just want all this to end. You know, it's like the four or five set. I just want people to stop D-Y-I-N-G. Now you have people like Lindsay. 
he loves it he's saying we're spending so much money seeing the bear soldiers being taken out is beautiful and this and that i mean i don't get pleasure out of this this uh, i mean people that get pleasure out of it i pray for you i mean demons demons get pleasure out of these type of stuff if you're getting pleasure out of seeing uh soldiers i'm um, being taken out you been repent repent i mean you don't uh, again you don't want to have a heart of a uh, evil evil heart like that because remember jesus jesus died on the cross of uh, uh for those to repent so you don't want to see i mean you don't want to wish death on no one because you basically say hey jesus you know forget what you did in that cross okay so you have to uh again it's very important to pray for everyone including your enemies all right, so it says here, um, so the MOD said that the crane had deployed the 23rd and the 31st mechanized brigade from its strategy, uh, strategic uh, reserves, which were supported, uh, supported in battle by other units. Now, crane armed forces have lost more than 250 service members 16 tanks, three infantry vehicles, and 21 armored vehicles already. The ministry released a video of what is said uh, were strikes on Crane military vehicles. Now you have the leader of Crane, Mr. Z, said on sun, uh, Saturday that the yellow and blue country was ready to launch its long plan counteroffensive and that the military could not wait. For months, the deputy uh, head of his office, I'm going to skip his name, um, however, said that the same day that his land um, has still not received enough weapons and ammunition to mount a successful campaign. Now, the yellow and blue country capital has recently stepped up the artillery and drone strike on the bear cities, including a UAV raid on the bear capital last week. Now, the bear defense ministry said on Sunday evening that the troops had repelled an armed incursion into the Belgorod region, which shares a border with Crane. Now, the bear volunteer corps and the freedom of the bear legion, two pro uh, Kiev groups made up of fighters with uh, some other very, you know, other groups background claim responsibility for that strike and similar uh, forays into the bear territory that took place throughout this spring. Now, Belgorod Gov uh, wrote on his Telegram channel early Monday morning that a drone strike has started uh, a fire on an enemy infrastructure site. He added that uh, there were no casual and no power outages. Uh, we do have some update here. Crane Army forces have breached the first lines of defense near, uh, I'm going to skip that name, Southern Donetsk. Now, the village, the villages of this area have been liberated and the bear have fallen back to reserve position in this region. Assault ongoing. So there's still battle going on right now, guys. Let me take you straight to RT. RT got some stuff here. Um, usually war news 24 seven, they put out all these information. I just don't know what's going on with uh, war news 24 seven. I really miss their stuff. They were really good and reliable sources. Uh, they put out some very good stuff, but they've been quiet ever since, uh, I think March 1st. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they come out with some good stuff, but, uh, I doubt it. It seems like War News 24-7 might be over on this one. Uh, Crane launches, once again, uh, a large offensive, uh, large-scale offensive. Uh, the Bear MOD has reported. It seems like this is the same stuff here. Yeah, it's like the same stuff. I'm not going to be all that because it's the same thing, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. What's going on with this one?
Oh, these are like the tanks. Armor vehicles and stuff. I'm just gonna skip it, guys. I don't wanna get hit with a copyright. Um yeah, so all this is basically the same here. All right, so that's where we at. That is where we at right now. Um, so some major event taking place right now. And uh, the most important thing is we got to pray for a lot of people. Like I said, I don't wish uh, anything on no one. But like I said, there's going to be some people out there that's going to find some pleasure out of this. Um, it's just... I don't know how people love these type of stuff, to be honest. Uh, I just don't like to see those things. But, uh, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a share this video on Twitter. One thing I tell you guys, nobody want to be in that position. Uh, even soldier, I mean, you can ask any, any soldier family members about this. Uh, they don't waste none of this on their enemies. And, uh, again, Mr. Burns and all those sleeping giant, those powerful ones spending money on this they're gonna have to answer to god so i'm gonna keep it updated on this story and i will share this link right here uh like i said it's a 12 minute video i can't show it there's a lot of b l o o d uh and it's again it's very disturbing anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters and prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.